Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Oh, quite a bit of cloud cover out there today for the holiday, but the good news here is most places have actually stayed pretty dry earlier this afternoon. We had a few showers roll through parts of uh, Dunn County into Eau Claire County. We have a few more showers and some storms around tonight, and those chances are going to take us through the evening and up until I'd say about midnight before those completely dissipate. So just be aware that you may encounter one of those. Otherwise, we're going to stay locked in the clouds for at least the next several hours and those temperatures slowly falling back through the 60s down into the 50s. As we check out satellite and radar this afternoon, we have a couple areas of showers that we are watching, uh, one of which is northeast of Eau Claire, impacting part of Rusk and Taylor counties. Uh, we have another line of showers and some embedded thunderstorms now crossing the river into parts of Pierce, Pepin, Buffalo County, even far southwestern Tremplow County. Uh, that looks to hold together here for a little bit. So if you live in these areas, expect that you're probably going to get rained on uh, at least just a little bit here in the coming hours. Now, as far as temperatures, we have been unseasonably cool today, mainly thanks to that cloud cover, some of those showers. We've got widespread 50s and 60s, but it is a bit warmer over across South Dakota. Uh, that's where they've had a good deal of sunshine throughout the day, therefore resulting in those temperatures climbing into the 70s. Now going into tonight, we're going to keep the clouds around. I do expect at least a few breaks to develop, especially later into the overnight hours. But for tomorrow morning, we are going to be starting out our day anywhere from the upper 40s into the low 50s. And watch what happens throughout the day. We're not quick to warm up or very much at all. Once again, it's going to be unseasonably cool out there. Those temperatures mostly into the low and mid 60s. And the reason for this largely has to do with what's going to happen in the upper levels of the atmosphere. We currently have this trough that's carved out over southern Canada over the next 24 hours. This trough is actually going to pivot southeast over the upper Midwest, bringing in a pocket of cooler Canadian air. In addition to this trough, we are going to have breezy northwest flow and that combination typically results in cooler temperatures, therefore explaining why it will be cool tomorrow. But the good news is it's going to be short-lived. Notice by Wednesday, especially into Thursday, we're marching back up near average. And as we head into this weekend, which is the first weekend of June, we're talking highs at well into the 70s, uh, 70s, even perhaps the low 80s by Sunday for some areas. Our weather word of the day is instability, and this is a word that you're probably going to hear us say a lot throughout the summer months, especially when it comes to us talking about thunderstorms. But again, instability is your weather word of the day. So head over to weau.com slash contests, enter the word as well as your information, and from there you'll be entered for a chance to win a brand new steel lawnmower courtesy of Union Trailer and Power Equipment. We'll be drawing for that winner on June 5th. As we head through tonight, the clouds going to stick around through at least the early half of the night. Those showers do start to dissipate with time. We'll have quiet weather during the overnight hours. And for tomorrow, I have now moved us up to a likely chance of scattered showers throughout the day. Don't expect a washout, but we're going to see quite a few rounds of showers coming down from the southwest in response to that trough moving over the area. And then by tomorrow night, we do dry things out, and that is going to set us up for a gorgeous midweek, plenty of sunshine. And as you just saw, those temperatures climbing back near average into the low 70s. For tonight's low, we're anywhere from the upper 40s into the low 50s. As we head into tomorrow, only a high of 64, rebounding through the rest of the week. We're at 75 by Thursday, 74 on Friday. And the pattern does appear to maybe be a bit active right into the weekend. We do have on and off scattered shower and storm chances. These look to be pretty minor in general, but we'll continue to watch those. We're at 78 Sunday, high of 80 by next Monday. High of 80. I feel like it seems like it's not ready for summer temperatures quite yet. Well, I'm sure a lot of folks are ready for those <laughs> summer-like temperatures, given the cooler day we had today and again tomorrow. But summer's coming, folks. Don't worry. Yeah, for sure. Thanks so much, mm -hmm. Derek. Helping heroes all.